Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your friendly neighborhood summoner Maldar and in this video we're gonna talk about my personal character progression in the game in the first quarter of 2019. So I've been planning to do a video like this for quite a while but my struggle has always been like how do I make a video like this and not make it off like I'm trying to show off or be cocky or anything like that so after watching a whole bunch of similar videos and planning and all that I'm like you know what screw it I'm just gonna do it and it is what it is so here we are anyway so here you got my summoner profile as you can see I have 452 champions and 1,150,000 uh, uh, total hero rating you can see uh, my top 4 champs they're all level 200 and of course the prestige king gold pool ranked number 3 overall in prestige I love all of my rank 5 champions you will see them in a moment I've played the game quite a lot as you can see um, 242,000 <laughs> A PvP fight. In my region in the US I'm ranked 116. I'm planning to reach the top 100. The plan is to be in the top 100 but honestly I don't know how much higher I can get than that because um, some of these guys they have like crazy ranks like I could see myself reaching maybe a million to hundred thousand so maybe in the top 70 but other than that man these guys spend a lot of money they grind a lot like it, it would be very hard for me to go higher than that and globally it's like 200 something I think um, 222 globally it's kind of the same situation it's even more competitive so if I go all the way down here you can see that the rank 100 is already at like 1.236 million so it's tough but I mean you never know what's gonna happen Let's go now and check out the champions. That's what we're here for, right? So we're, let's just start with the good stuff, with the six stars. So up until about a month ago, I was really not that satisfied with my six star roster, but then I got Hawkeye, right? Like a, a month or so ago. And then more recently I got Dormammu. And a few days later I got Mephisto. And a few days after that I got Corvus Glaive. And if you ask me now if I'm pleased with my 6 star roster, I'm gonna be like, hell yeah man, I mean look at it, it's not that bad. If by some miracle I'm gonna dupe Corvus Glaive, oh boy. However, as far as 5 stars go, I'm extremely pleased. You can see that I have my 5 rank 5s, Goldpool, Corvus Glaive, Blade, Morak, and Dr. Voodoo, they're all fantastic. The only one that's not level 200 yet is Dr. Voodoo, but he's getting up there pretty soon. Um, what can I tell you? I have 5 rank 5s, 13 rank 4s, and it's like 81 uh, 5 stars in total. Here are some of the rank 4 ones. You can see Gwenpool, Mephisto, Medusa, Hulk Ragnarok, Starkey, Vision, Vision, oh my god, so good. Agent Venom I did for Alliance War. Ghost Rider, I ended up using one of my Mystic AGs because it could take like another year before I dupe him. Nebula, a long time favorite. Iceman, I was able to take the rank 4 with the mutant rank 4 gem that I got from Variant. Then Captain Marvel, I ended up getting two Cosmic 2015 uh, 3 to 4 rank, rank up gems. So I was like, I'm either gonna do Captain Marvel or uh, Black Spider-Man. Spider-Man, maybe he'll be good for Alliance or Defense for now, but what if Captain Marvel is gonna get the same treatment that Venom got last year when his movie came out? So this was more like an investment, plus she has some utility and she hits hard. Like I, got, I was like shocked when I first tested her as a rank 4, she hit so hard, like I couldn't believe it. Then we have a rank 4 Ant-Man, which I did with the... Um, 2015 science gem that I got from variant alliance defense and it's it's quite good I don't want to give you any numbers, but I'm very satisfied and of course venom I also take took the rank 4 with the One of those cosmic gems. So I got two cosmic 2015 gems and one science one Even on Duke man venom hits so hard bleeds. He's just insane one of my favorite champions uh, other than that, I have most of them are rank 3 and uh, I'll show you now. 
I'm planning to take to rank 4 Killmonger at some point. Um, other than that, I would even like a hood to have to rank 4 and an X23. Um, what else is here? Magic I would like to take to rank 4. Carnage I would like to take to rank 4. Mm, Dormammu I don't have a need for him since I got the 6 star now. Sentinel I would like to have to rank 4 one day. Even Winter Soldier, I know, I do. I mean, I'm just saying hypothetically what I would like to have a rank for. And then Ultron would be great too. Venom the Duck, I'm gonna try and dupe. I know he's gonna be in the basic 5 star crystal like uh, February 12th or 13th, I forgot one of those two dates. And of course, Thanos, he's gonna go up one day. But Thanos, I'm gonna make a separate video. He needs a buff. I understand he's just a trophy champ, but everything about him is completely outdated from synergies to abilities. I mean, he's Thanos. He's supposed to be like probably the most powerful being in all the champions that we have, with a few ex exceptions. So, yeah, he needs a buff. And I still don't have Kamala Khan, man. Like, oh, I mean, am I not special enough to have Kamala? Come on. And Spider-Gwen I need to dupe because everybody needs to have a dupe Spider-Gwen. So these are all my 5 stars for now. I'm very, very satisfied. I mean, I don't have that many, but 81 5 stars is not a low number by any stretch of imagination. Now when we go down to 4 stars, I have 127 4 stars in total and 39 of them are rank 5. The last uh, 4 star that I actually ranked 5 was quite a few months ago and it was Void. Where is he? Yeah, there you have, there's the Void. I have the Immortal Iron Fist. I hope I'll get the 5 or 6 star one day. It's probably gonna be a few years. Um, of course, Deadpool, OG Deadpool is there. Um, I don't know which other rare ones I have. I don't think there, I don't have 4 star Kang or 4 star Thanos. But Scarlet Witch has been my Oh man, she was like my second rank 5, like, I loved her, I hope she'll be released as a 5 star soon, and I'm gonna be all over that, like, my favorite champion still. Um, there's quite a few that I would like to take up to rank 5 one day, whenever I'm gonna have an overflow of basics, which I don't at the moment. Um, what else? Doctor Strange, I like to have the 5 star. Um, I like to have a whole bunch of them as a rank 5 or a 5 star. But that's pretty much it. Magneto, he needs a buff too. Uh, like so many that need a buff. Like Joe Fixit, Old Man Logan, Colossus, She Hulk. Um, too many need a buff. They, they gotta get. Like, I like what they did with this update with the shock, it was very needed, you know, it was like... But now they gotta step on it and just roll out new balls, roll, keep rolling updates, you know what I'm saying? I uh, still gotta level up a Massacre and Quark, but other than that, man, these are my 4 stars, I'm so happy I got them. There's quite a few that I'm missing from last year, but I'll get them in the basic arena this year, it's okay, or maybe I'll get them from Crystals, it's not such a big deal anymore. All right, let's go down to three stars. As far as three stars go, I have almost all of them with the exception of a few of the new ones from last year because I didn't feel like riding every three star arena, like seriously. I didn't have the time, I was traveling so much, I was absent from YouTube, you guys know, last year, like May, June, July, August, I was traveling a lot. So three stars, I have 131 in total and they're all maxed. You can see like a whole bunch of them here. We're gonna scroll down. Um, I even got the Immortal Iron Fist, obviously. But other than that, it's not too many rare ones as a three star. Like, the only special thing about my three stars is that they're all maxed. <laughs> Come on, I keep pressing that. My bad. Um, there you have it. See, they're all maxed. I like to have all my lobbies maxed. As far as two stars, there's quite a few that I don't have, and I only got like five of these. We had a crystal out that was, uh, you know, you could get like uh, the 2015 and 2018 champs. I forgot what, what it was called, like, I, I can't think of the name now. But anyway, it had some of the two stars as well. So what I ended up getting, uh, I ended up getting, I think, Omega Red. 
a new champ from those crystals. Anyway, two stars, I got 90 in total. I'm very, very happy with my two stars. <laughs> I'm a collector, I like to collect champions, I don't care if it's one star, two star, three star, I gotta have them. So I'm trying to get them as much as I can, even though I can't all the time, but that's okay. Um, happy about all of them. And all the way at the bottom here, um, I'm gonna see that Omega Red, I didn't level him up yet, but I will soon. One thing I forgot about the five stars, it's that I also have Punisher. I got Punisher like a week after he was released and I was like so excited, I got so lucky. I think I opened like 50 uncollected arena crystals and boom, there he was. So that's it, that's pretty much my progression so far. Um, I'm very happy, I'm extremely excited to be in MMX. I think last year was like a crazy year as far as my personal uh, champion progression. I started 2018 in Sandman aka Debo with my friends. Then we got the opportunity to move up to core, which was a fantastic experience. Then some things happened. We ended up in LG1, which was also pretty cool. A lot of Europeans, a lot of people, you know, we can connect with. Uh, but then things just didn't go great. And the alliance kind of broke up. Then I got my band, then I got pissed off, then I quit the game. And then what better way to come back to the game as a member of MMX, man? That was like, like, it was like one of those cool comebacks that you see in a movie for me personally. So I'm very thankful for everybody in MMX and my friends who also helped in getting me into MMX. So thank you everybody, uh, Kingpin, Blaze, everyone, CD, you guys are very, 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 very cool. So what are my long time and short time goals? I don't know, man, just to keep progressing as a player and keep knocking out all these crazy events like i hope that variant is not like the standard for all the new content because it was a lot of bullshit in that uh, quest that i didn't like i'm i really dislike passive damage that kills you stuff that you stand there and it kills you and you just gotta use items to beat it like i'm okay with spending as long as it's like not mandatory and I felt like variant had a lot of mandatory spending to clear the content just like lol but at least lol with the right champs you can mitigate that variant no you have to spend like if you're telling me that you didn't use items for that I don't believe you and then the beta for map 7 AQ man what like that to me that had to be like a joke like seriously you need like six star rank threes to clear it <laughs> I hope when they do release it, it's not gonna be like it was in the beta because it's gonna be a disaster, like seriously. Other than that, I'm very, very happy with where I am in the game, skill-wise, rating-wise, alliance-wise. I'm just very happy and fortunate and hopefully I'll just keep progressing and get better and better and better. Just like my channel, I hope it's gonna get better and better and better. So if you guys have any suggestions, any type of content that you would like me to do, um, I'm down, I'm down to do anything, man. There's a few things that I can't do and that I won't do, but uh, I'm still open to suggestions. Like you guys can hit me up online just like you have. You can hit me up on Twitter. You know how to find me if you wanna to talk to me, man. I'm pretty down to earth, you know, I'm easy to talk to. Anyway, what I do want to do is thank you guys so much for your support. Um, some of you guys have been following the channel like from the first week, which was like almost two years ago. And because of a lot of my breaks last year, I couldn't keep up with the channel because I was traveling to Europe and then my move to California and all of that. But as you've seen, since I came back to the game after my break, <laughs> Uh, I have been pretty consistent and I'm trying to live stream. The problem with live streaming is that I have Cox internet and one moment I have like a 90 megabytes connection. Then the next moment it's like I'm lagging even if I'm trying to load up YouTube. So I don't know how to fix the situation. I tried to do one stream and it was like kind of not going well <laughs> because of the lag. But I don't know what to do. I really want to go back into streaming, but if it's not going to happen for a while, now you guys know exactly why. Anyway, I probably left out a few things in this video, but there's always going to be a next one. I'm going to do these progression type videos like every three months, so it's like going to be four a year. 
uh, I think that doing it monthly is gonna be kind of boring and redundant but hey that's that's fine too man I'm I'm not trying to knock anybody you know anyway I think I rambled for too long as it is so I'm just gonna let you guys go thank you again for following the channel for being supportive and helping me improve along the way all right you guys have a good rest of the day and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers